Shalom. Call hello. Yahawa. Bahashim. Yahawa Shai. Bahashim. Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akim and to the Akwaf, that will be your brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. This lesson is going to be entitled, Put on as the elect, covered in your garments and fortified in the spirit. Okay? Put on as the elect, covered in your garments and fortified in the spirit. All right? And to what they are, Bashim Yahushai, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. And Lord willing, by the end of this lesson, you'll be uh, edified. This is not really going to be a long lesson, but uh, the spirit was on me to go into this. Okay, while I was working, you know, the scripture came to me. Um, these scriptures was in my mind. You know, and um, Spirit hopped on me to, to just go into it real quick. So through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Lord willing, we get through this lesson and you'll be edified, all right? So I'm going to start um, in the book of Colossians, the third chapter, all right? As um, going back to the title of the lesson, put on as the elect, okay? Covered in your garments and fortified in the Spirit. Yeah, so put on as the elect, man, Okay? Do the things that the elect would be doing, okay? Uh, uh, what's that? First, uh, first, Second Peter chapter one verse ten. All right, it speaks of giving diligence to make a call and an election sure. Right, so that that goes into putting on as the elect. And as a matter of fact, let me grab that because I have Colossians three. And 12, I'm, 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 I wanted to start with that, but through the Spirit, that scripture came to mind. So let me just go to it and read it. All right, real quick. This is the book of um, the book of uh, what is this? Second Peter, chapter one, verse ten. It says, "Rather, it says, wherefore the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure." If ye do these things, ye shall never fall. See? So that's a part of uh, Colossians 3 and 12. That's a part of putting on as the elect. See, it's an armor. You, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, state of mind. Okay? To, to guide you, to navigate you through the spirit, and to shield you. Okay? Is your garment. Right? And that the garment goes into the, the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You use that as a cover. Okay? So, Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12. I'm going to read down to verse 14. It says, Put on, therefore, as the elect of God. So, you got to put on certain things. All right? You got to be fortified in the mind, walking in the spirit, covered in your garment. Okay? Which is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which is which are the gifts of the Most High. These things are, are not of yourself; it, it is of the is of the Lord. All right. It says, "Put on, therefore, as the elect of the Most High, the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and beloved." Slakia. It says, "Holy, and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind." Right. You see, it's a mindset. Meekness, okay, meaning come in the, the spirit of humility. All right, it says long suffering. You have to have patience, man. Patience go into a uh, 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 suffering, man. All right, verse thirteen it says forbearing one another and forgiving one another, showing that love and charity. It says if any man have a, a quarrel against any, even as Mashiach forgave you, 
so also do ye. So you got to you gotta uh, uh, be giving forgiveness, man, to people who, who might have uh, trespassed against you. Forgive them their trespasses, the, the scriptures say. You know? The Lord forgave us our trespasses, so we ought to do the same. Right? Verse 14, it says, And above all these things put on charity. So this is the part of, this is another part of putting on as the elect, charity. Above all these things put on charity. The scriptures say, okay, uh, 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 charity take away the multitude of sins. So it's a good thing to be charitable, right? It says, and above all these things put on charity, which is the, which is the bond of perfectness, the bond of perfectness. So that even that charity is a part of you putting on as the elect because these are the things that the elect would be doing given our diligence to make the call in an election sure. All right? Okay? So, yes. Um, yeah, you, you got you, you to gotta do it, man. This 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 will be the mindset of, of a member of the elect. I don't want to say I pray that I'm of that precious number and I pray for the brothers and the sisters that believe, okay, whom the Lord is going to show mercy and favor to who are predestinated before the foundation of the world to see his salvation within his land and within his borders. I pray that I'm of that number. I pray that I'm upon the first go-round. Ultimately, it's all of the Lord, you know? But all we can do is hope and pray, you know? So, knowing that, okay, putting on as the elect, it's a mindset, right? Now, for your covering... Because the, the, the title says to put on as the elect, which is a mindset, and you got to do the things that you, you're commanded to do, right? Put on as the elect, covered in your garments. Now, the garments represent the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, right? Let's go to Revelation. Revelation chapter 16 and verse 15, right? This is Revelation chapter 16 and verse 15. And um, it says, it says, Behold, I come as a thief. All right? This is, the, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is, this is, this is speaking of the Lord. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watch it. The Lord told us to watch, measure the time diligently within itself. So we are watchmen. Okay? We, we watching because this is how you measure the time by when the prophecies come to pass you measure the time and then you know where you at by measuring the time measuring the prophecies so you got to keep watch you know you gotta in other words in layman terms stay ready so you don't got to get ready so when the Lord comes as, as it go into the, the 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 parable of the the ten virgins five were wise and, and five were fool, uh, foolish or fools because when the Lord showed up, they wasn't ready. The five that were wise and had oil in their vessels, they went into the marriage with the, with the, with the, with the, with the Lord, man. Okay? And when the five fools came back who needed uh, oil for their, for, their, for, their, for their lamps, right? The door was shut. It was over. They wasn't ready. You see? So this is the, the reason why you got to keep watch. The Lord said to keep watch. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watch it right and here is the point and keepeth his garments his garments right the garments going into the knowledge wisdom and understanding you got to keep that you got to apply wisdom right it says least he walk naked and they see his shame okay because without 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 knowledge wisdom and understanding you are you are as a beast okay you are as a beast let me go to uh real quick could prove that real quick in the book of um psalms Psalms, Psalms, the uh, seventy-third chapter. Psalms, the seventy-third chapter. Around right about uh, is uh, let's see if I can find that real quick. Bear with me here. That scripture came to mind. Let's see if I can find it. 
Because without without understanding, man, you, you are as a beast, right? Verse 22. Psalms chapter 73. Verse 22, it says, So foolish was I, and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Right, see? What does the word ignorant mean? Ignorant means not to know, right? So it says, So foolish was I, and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Right, because without knowledge, wisdom, and understanding... You are as a beast, man. All right? The scripture, the scripture says, what's that? Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding, man. Right? Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Wisdom and knowledge is what's going to keep you stable in the time of tribulation and peril and the times of peril, man. Because you're going to be guided through the Spirit. And remember, all of these are gifts for the most high. The scriptures say, every good gift come from above, man. You see? So, going back, okay, Revelation, uh, Revelation chapter 16, verse 15, let me read it again, it says, Behold, I come as a thief, blessed is he that watch it, and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. So, going back to the title, put on as the elect covered in your garments, right? The other part of the title is, put on as the elect covered in your garments, and fortified in the spirit. Fortify means to what? Like double down on, make hard, uh, 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 strengthen. You got to fortify. When you fortify something, you strengthen. So you're strengthening your mind, right? How are you doing it? Through the scriptures, man, through the word, through the spirit, right? So let's go to the book of um, perfect scripture for that is the, uh, the book of Ephesians. Let's go to that. The book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter, because it goes into how we wrestle not against uh, 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 flesh and blood, right? But against spiritual wickedness in high places. So you have to you you have to uh, uh, put on a strong armament, man. As the title says, put on as the elect, right? But it's 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 going to be made beautiful through the spirit and power of the Abba Shemesh, right? right here in the book of um, Ephesians, the sixth chapter goes into that, man. Right? This is Ephesians chapter 6. I'm jumping here at verse 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. See? And in the power of his might. Right? You see? It says, Put on the whole armor of the Most High, the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh. So you got to put on the whole armor as putting on as the elect, covered in your garments and fortified in the Spirit. That's putting on the whole armor of the Most High, man. Yahweh. It says that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. This is the reason why you got to put on as the elect. This is why you're putting on the whole armor of the Most High, man. All right? So you could stand against the wiles of the devil because we're coming into perilous times. 2 Timothy 3 verse 1. And this know also in the last days perilous times shall come. When you go into perilous, it means dangerous fierce savage okay that's the times that we're coming into man so you're gonna have, you're gonna have to uh be girded up in your loins man you got you have to uh, you got to move uh, uh, uh away from you uh mortal thoughts man and 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 and, 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 and scripture speaks about um uh getting off of that weak nature man you know because you're coming into serious times right now jacob's trouble those kind of things man uh prophecy that's prophesied man a time of trouble for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The scripture speaks about a time of trouble for you, man. Okay? Our forefathers, uh, Jacob, man. Okay? He's the, the, the patriarch or the, uh, or the progenitor of the 12 tribes, man. Okay? And the scriptures coined, Jeremiah 30, verse 7, a time of trouble. Jacob's trouble. That's speaking of our people, man. You see? So you got to fortify your mind uh, for these times that are coming, man. All right? Verse 12. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Right? Remember uh, Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. You see? It says, um, And against spiritual wickedness in high places. Verse 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High. You see, it's, it's telling you again that he may be able to withstand in the evil day. Right. 
you see, in the bad times, man, because evil is a compound word when you break it down, evil meaning time and ill meaning bad. All right? It says that he may be able to, to, to withstand, right, to stand firm in the evil day, man, and having done all to stand, meaning say you have to use this great spirit which you have right now to be to be built up, to be fortified, man, in the spirit, man, in the mind, right? It says, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. The scriptures say to strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. You see? It says, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, another armament, right? Verse 15, armament in the spirit. It says, verse 15, because the scriptures tell you how the weapons of our warfare and that carnal man, we're walking in the spirit. The scriptures say the just shall live by faith. Right? Verse 15, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Okay? So you dress from your head to your feet in the spirit, man, with armament, spiritual armament. It says, verse 16, above all, taking the shield of faith. There go the shield, the shield of faith. Another armament in the spirit. It says, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And this is the purpose why you need to be fortified. You see? To be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Verse 17, it says, and take the helmet of salvation. So notice, you being you have armament through the spirit and power of the Abba Shemel Shai from your head to your feet. You see that? It says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the Most High. You see that? The sword of the spirit, man. The scriptures tell you Hebrews chapter 4 and 12, right? That's the sword. You even got the sword, man. Through the spirit. Let's go get that real quick. Hebrews chapter 4. You see, you have all the armaments of the spirit, man, to protect you, man. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Hebrews chapter 4, even of the sword, to cut and to slay spiritually. Okay, Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. It says, for the, for the word, all right, this word, man, this is a sword. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. It's even sharper. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You see that? So, it's nothing you can do against the truth but before the truth, man. And no lies of the truth, the scriptures tell you. You see? So going back to Ephesians, we're going to finish it up. we got another one more verse in there. But I'm going to read back. Uh, and then we get that verse and close out. Uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17 again. It says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of the Most High. You see that? Verse 18. And we're going to close out on 18. It says, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, praying always. So you got to keep praying. The scriptures say, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17, pray without ceasing. Okay? Uh, Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as the 43rd chapter, the 30th verse say, to um, uh, uh, say how the Lord can never go far enough, man. When you pray, put forth all, when you exalt the Most High, put forth all thy strength. Okay? And, and be not weary. For you can never go, for, for yet will he far exceed. Okay? Because you can never go far enough. Roughly paraphrasing it. You see? So we got to stay in prayer. Uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18. It says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Begging the most high to shorten the days and to bring the kingdom. The scripture speaks about hasten, on the coming, hasten unto the coming of the day of the Lord, man. Okay, uh, Second Peter is the third chapter, right? Because we 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 uh, we 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 uh, it says according to His promise, we we look for new heavens and a new earth where dwelleth righteousness, man. Okay, Second Peter chapter three and verse thirteen, it says, um, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching thereunto with all per perseverance and supplication for all saints and the saints are the israelites man according to psalms chapter 15 verse 5 and uh psalms 148 verse 14 the saints are the israelites man and those of you um, who are taking heed to the word of the lord you are to put on as the elect covered in your garments and fortified in the spirit man take heed to the word of the lord all right and um yeah 
<laughs> do, do his will, man. Do the work. Stay in the spirit. Pray. Call on his name. All right? So with that, I'm going to end it there, Lord. Will you, you edify it? On to the next one. Shalom.